Hey guys and welcome to my channel Gusty's Plants. In today's video I bring for you guys my ever-growing collection of teas from Harney & Sons. I actually already have a video talking about all my teas from Harney & Sons from last year. In the process of a year though I purchased more teas to my collection and this video will be just that. Introducing for you guys or you know sharing with you guys the new teas that I got from Harney & Sons. Some of them I love others I didn't care for and others are like staple that I had to drink you know almost every day if not uh, several times a day so yeah stick around if you're interested in what I have to think about Harney and Sons or if you're new to Harney and Sons and you're looking for teas to try out this is a good video because I'm gonna give you guys the nitty and gritty of Harney and Sons teas which ones I like which ones I don't so yeah, stick around if you're interested on my collection of Harney and Sons teas. So we're going to start out with the Lunar Year tea right here. This is the um, Harney and Sons 2022 Lunar New, Year, Lunar New Year. It comes in a pretty individual nice tin. Um, I have the one from 2021. This is from 2022. This tea here has a very nice settled citrusy tea. Um, kind of like almost orangey, zesty, lemon chamomile type of thing. So the ingredients here or the notes in this tea are, it has oolong tea, ginger, lychee flavor, red corn flower, lemon flavor, and it contains natural flavors. So it does have caffeine, but to me, even though it has caffeine, it tastes more like a herbal tea. It has a very, you know, soothing type of, you know, relaxing type of um, taste to it. I wouldn't drink this if I'm like, you know, in a need of a good caffeine kick. It being a oolong tea, it's more like on the mellow side. And then the cornflowers and the ginger um, just makes it very, very, I will even say delicate. Definitely not my favorite. Um, I've actually tried it iced and I do prefer it over ice as opposed to a hot tea. Um, but definitely it's um, an okay tea if you're into like lemon chamomile or that sort of herbaly teas. Even though this is not an herbal tea. But yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Moving on to the next one. So I've already talked about this tea before. This one here is the Valentine's Day. This is the chocolate flavor tea. It comes in 30 tea bags per tin also comes in the bejewel shape like the previous one i will leave a review video um card that i made on this tea somewhere here in the video um but this tea is one of my favorites if not my favorite harney and sons chocolate tea if you're looking for a good chocolate tea this is it uh, not only does it smell like a milk chocolate um this stuff it also has like the hint of roses in the background that just makes it so much unique and exquisite so it's not just a chocolate tea, it also has like a hint of rose, but it's not so floral or perfumey. Oh my god, the fragrance is amazing, the tin is beautiful, and the flavor of this tea, it's impeccable. Um, now some people like this tea with milk, I actually like it with milk or without milk. It's like a very diverse tea, and it's good hot only. I will not recommend this tea iced, because I feel like the chocolate will kind of be a little bit too lost in the background if you do it iced and so i just like this tea hot by itself it doesn't even need sugar it's that sweet and it's just delicious decadent and the tin is amazing as well right so yeah the last tea well actually one of the second to last tea that i got from harney and sons in this sort of tin bejeweled you know format or style is a gingerbread festival this one here has black tea with ginger cinnamon and molasses I am on the fence about this tea. The tin is beautiful, but I'm not here about the tin. I'm here for the flavor. So I've had this tea two ways. I've had it, I, I mean, I've had it with milk, and I've had it plain with no milk or sugar added to it. On itself, just a hot tea, you know, with nothing added to it. To me, it's very weak, and I don't like it. I also don't like teas with ginger. It just has ginger in it, so it's kind of like, oh. However, the cinnamon and the molasses kind of make this more like a gourmand tea. When you add milk and sugar to this tea, it transforms into like a complete new tea. And it actually becomes one of my favorite teas as a latte. Drinking this tea by itself with nothing added to it, it's pretty nasty, if I'm going to be honest. 
but the moment you add like oat milk or something you know like a nice dense creamy thick milk I'm not talking about loaf I'm talking about like a you know like a nutty kind of milk to this tea with a little bit of sugar I feel like that alone kind of brings out the molasses hidden in the tea and it makes it taste more like a gingerbread cookie latte flavor if that makes any sense it smells amazing though like on cold sniff yeah it smells <coughs> it's very gingery but it's not like a fresh cut ginger it's more like a like a gourmand type of cookie you know pastry like a ginger loaf with like raisins and cinnamon it's delicious with milk disgusting by itself let's just be honest in my opinion all right guys and the last tea that i have from harney and sons it will be the victorian london fog but we'll be on harney and sons video without talking about a earl grey tea so this earl grey tea here it's london fog it's infused with earl grey which is bergamot and black tea and it also has vanilla in the notes as well so yeah this is Oh, it also has lavender, by the way. It's just lavender, vanilla, Earl Grey tea. It's not just an, your basic Earl Grey. It does have the hint of lavender and vanilla. This tea is delicious by itself without any sugar or without any creamer or anything. Just, you know, get your hot water and put the tea bag in there. Let it, you know, maybe simmer or, you know, steep for three, four minutes and you're good to go. This tea is perfect for, like, if you're going your way to work or to take it to work and just to have it on the you know your table it gets even better if you let it steep a little bit longer than the required which is five minutes for this tea i love this tea and it smells so nice it doesn't have like a strong earl grey scent but it also has um like a nice lavender to you know and vanilla to go with it it's very hard to describe the fragrance of this tea it is an earl grey but the vanilla and the lavender in this um Victorian London Fog, it's truly magnificent and I absolutely love it. Alright guys, so now moving on to teas that you're able to find in your Target, teas that you can find in Walmart, more, you know, basic teas. We're going to start with this one here. So this one is the Peppermint Herbal Tea, comes in a nice minty green tin. This one is not my favorite. I got this at a subscription box from Harney & Sons last year or I think I got it in April from last year or a few months ago. It's, it's a peppermint tea. I'm not huge on peppermint um, teas. I got this. I would have not purchased it myself had I gone to Target. But I got this in a subscription box. So uh, I'm not, I don't really have anything to say about this. I've only tried it once. And that's it. Um, just peppermint teas are not for me. Same thing with like peppermint flavored gums. They're just not for me. If you're into peppermint though, this is a very sinus opening, you know, kind of like Vicks Vapor Rub. It's very strong and pungent. So, yeah. A tea that I really recommend it. I'm actually almost finished with this one. This is Vanilla Camaro, by the way. It's a decaf tea. Um, vanilla Camaro. It's, I feel like, one of the most popular teas. Super delicious, guys. Like, you, can, you guys can see there's only three tea bags left on this tin. I love the color of this tin, by the way. It's kind of like grayishy, creamy color to it this tea is amazing i actually like drinking this tea with a tiny bit of sugar or a tiny bit of like honey i don't like to add milk to this because the tea alone is very creamy very you know soothing um it's also since it doesn't have a lot of caffeine or it's like decaf it's delicious on its own without any additives to it you don't even have to add sugar if you don't want to but i'm you know a little extra like always and i do put a little sprinkle of sugar and it's just delicious and it also like i said it smells so good and warm and cozy and inviting um one thing i wouldn't drink this tea during summer because it's not meant for like a refresher it's more for like you know a sweater weather type of tea where it's just very you know sweet and just decadent i mean it kind of tastes like a black tea even though it's not a black tea looking at the ingredients here um oh well, it's a decaf black tea go figure so it's a black tea but it's decaf okay right, so moving on to the next tea another basic tea that you can find in your local walmart maybe even your local you know smart and final it's your chocolate mint i also got this in a subscription box but chocolate mint is actually a very nice tea um it's not my favorite chocolate tea from harney and sons valentine's day is my favorite chocolate tea I said that Valentine's is more like a milk chocolate tea. This is more like a dark chocolate, 
you know, 60% dark chocolate, you know, bar. That's the type of chocolate that I get from here. And then the mint, um, I'm not too crazy for. Um, I do prefer this type of mint over like a peppermint tea or like a, you know, something among the lines of just peppermint. This one is peppermint chocolate. It's, it's pretty good. Would I purchase it again? Probably not. After I finish this tea, which I will, I'm probably not going to repurchase. I like it by itself, and I also like it with milk. I kind of like it a little bit better by itself, but um, I do have other teas that I prefer drinking over this. So it'll take me a little while to finish this, but I will finish it. And uh, do I recommend it? No, I don't. Just because I don't like peppermint. That's just my thing. But if you like peppermint, if that's your thing, go ahead and pick this up. And the peppermint um, tea, you guys are going to love it. Okay. All right, guys. So moving on to the last two teas that you can find in your local Walmart, Target, H, you know, whatever. It's chocolate. Now, this one I have actually haven't really seen as much in like your local groceries however i know that it can be found in groceries because of the tin this style of teas is more like their basic line um this one is very good this one is a very strong dark chocolate it's great with milk i feel like i say this a lot but i do like to add milk to my teas especially like a uh, oat milk to my teas and it just makes it so much interesting in my opinion but chocolate tea this is a strong black tea. I actually prefer drinking this tea with milk as opposed to it by itself. By itself, I find it to be very pungent, very strong. It's like a, think of a 90% chocolate bar. That's how strong it is. It's very bitter, like a very, and it's black. So it's a black, strong tea. Add to that a strong, dark chocolate. to just get a very bitter tea, which makes for a perfect iced tea. Like a chocolate iced tea if you were to have bobas add it to when you make this iced it'll just be like a top-notch boba drink and actually i have bobas i have ice i have milk i have this tea i'm gonna try this out as a boba tea if you're gonna add me on instagram make sure you do because i do a lot of random tea talks on there so if you guys are interested in following me there go ahead and check my instagram link on the description box but yeah anyways this is a good chocolate tea with milk not by itself all right guys and i saved the most popular for the for the very end you guys are gonna know what tea this is this can be found everywhere like everywhere this is the pumpkin spice hardy and sons tea this tea has been around for centuries and everyone seems to talk about it and i'm here to tell you guys that i'm not crazy for this i'm not crazy for spicy you know red hot type of teas or peppermints i don't like peppermint teas and i don't like spicy you know pumpkin-y flavors this one why did i pick it up because i was on a wimp at target with my brother and this was just laying there and i picked it up i really don't want to talk about this tea because i don't like it and i feel like everybody does to me the ingredients here, if you're interested, the ingredients here has, if I can find it, so it's a rooibos tea, so it's decaf. It's a rooibos natural pumpkin flavor, cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg. I definitely get the nutmeg, but that's about it. It's a herbal tea, decaf, it has no caffeine, it's rooibos, pumpkin, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Uh, moving on because I don't like this tea. I don't want to be fake here. So moving on. I don't like this tea If you like some cinnamon pumpkin spice, you know Starbucks pumpkin spice latte, you probably will like this I don't why do I have it because I'm dumb Okay, guys. so Now I'm gonna bring you guys tea that are loosely. I mean that are tea bags, but they're more hard to find They're more unique and I feel like you can probably find them online most of the time I don't think you can find these in your local groceries like the ones that I mentioned before so let's go ahead and get started. One that I want to talk about here, it's the Chinese flower tea. This Chinese flower tea reminds me so much of the 2022 that I started talking about. For me, this Chinese New Year, I mean this Chinese flower and this Chinese New Year are like the same teas. Honestly, um, this one here, it's a little bit more... Um, 
why would I say this? So this one here, like I mentioned, was more like a herbal, almost chamomile tea. This definitely tastes more like a green tea. It's a green tea, and this is an oolong. So there's a difference. This one tastes more like tea. This one tastes more like a herbal tea, even though they're not. This one here is a green tea with orange peel, rose petals. It also has cornflowers, marigold petals, and natural lemon flavor. So it's a little bit less lemony, more on the green tea. It's a little bit stronger than this one. I do prefer this one here over the Lunar New Year. They're very similar teas. Um, if you're looking for which one to get, probably get this one though. And I feel like this one is only like a New Year's tea. So just get this one. Honestly, talking about rose petals and Chinese flower and all that stuff. One of my favorite teas is this one here. This one has one of the most beautiful tints. This is the Met Collection. Carnian Sons has a collection called the Met, which I think emphasizes uh, New York's something about New York. I'm not too fond of it. But this one here is a garden therapy herbal tea. This, uh, it's an herbal tea. It's like your basic lemon chamomile tea that every company makes. I like this one very nice tea it's a very nice well-made tea the tin is nice the packaging is beautiful um would i buy it again no am i happy to have it yes because of the tin but that's about it it's a very nice lemon chamomile tea there's nothing crazy going on here it's just a standard lemon chamomile tea i feel like you can get this from tadian or like you know tetley's or yogi it's not unique, um, but if you like the packaging, which I do, all right, guys. So now talking about unique and interesting packaging and teas, I also have a video review on this tea. If you guys wanna talk, if you guys wanna find out about more, I'll leave a card somewhere here or here, and I'm talking about this one right here, Celine Dion Titanic RMS Titanic blend. This is a black tea and an oolong tea. It's a blend of three teas. I believe it has kimam, assam, and um, oolong. It's a very nice black tea. Super, you know, easy to, you know, drink on its own. Very unique. Super delicious at night. I would drink this in the morning, in the evening. In the afternoon before I go to bed. It's just a good black tea. The only thing about this one is it's very hard to come by. It is the Titanic blend as you guys can see, but it's very hard to come by. It's almost always sold out, but if you find it online or even in store, God forbid, pick it up in a heartbeat. You guys will not be disappointed. But this tea is delicious. I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites from Hardy and & Sons. And the packaging, look at it. It's just magnificent. Right, guys i came to the last teas that i have so this one here is the little woman orchid um what is it orchid house blend this is a green tea um with green apple and it tastes like an apple tea it's almost even though it's a green tea to me it tastes more like an herbal tea super um delicate um you can definitely taste the green tea um, I haven't tried it iced. I've tried it hot with a little bit of honey, and it's really good. I actually do like it. It's one of my favorites. Opening up the, the little tin here. Yeah, I'm almost done. I have like about four or five tea bags left. Would I repurchase again? Yes, I will. Not anytime soon, though, but once I finish all of the teas that I'm talking about, I will definitely repurchase this tea. Oh, God. Anyways, but this tea is amazing. amazing. The tin is also very nice and cute. Little Woman Hardy and Sons teas. The ingredients here, it's a green tea with apple, apple flavor, honey flavor, cornflowers, and it contains natural extracts. Oh my God, super nice. Look at the little tin, the little tea back here. So yeah, it also has like dried apples, green tea, and green tea flavoring. It's a very well-made tea, very unique. Highly recommend. Two thumbs up, one and two, here you go. And, I feel like I leave the worst for last, like I did with the pumpkin spice. Well, here we go with another pumpkin-y or cinnamon spice tea. But this is an apple, apple spice. So this is the Bantine Best Blend. This one here has a, a hot apple spice flavor black tea. This one here has, as in the ingredients, black tea, orange peel, cinnamon flavor, 
ground cinnamon, apple pieces, apple flavor, cinnamon pieces, ground cloves, and contains natural flavors. So the Little Woman tea is just green tea with um, green apple and apple flavorings. This is a black tea with apple, green f apple flavoring, but it also contains cinnamon, ground cloves, and ground cinnamon. So it's like an apple spice tea, and this is just the apple without the spice, which is why I prefer this one over this. It's the same tea, just that they added cinnamon to this one to make this one. Hopefully that makes sense. This is the tin of both of them. They're like brother and sister. This is the delicate, beautiful sister. And this is the ugly, immature brother. Hopefully that makes any sense. If you're into the market for a tea that's apple-based, go for this one. If you do like your spices and your apples and cinnamons, then go for this one. Or why not go for both? So I was going to make this video um, quick. And I'm trying to make it quick and short and to the point. I have so much loose leaf teas to talk about, so I'm gonna leave this video um, as part two of my collection because I um, trust me, I have like about 10, 11, 12 teas loose leaf that I want to talk about, but this video is a little too long, so I'm gonna leave it here. Um, this was my tea collection from Harney and Sons when it comes to tea bags. Um, leave a comment down below if you're interested in watching the second part, which will include just loose leaf teas in the black tins. Let me show you guys how they look. So Harney and Sons black loose leaf tins are like this, black and gold. This one here is the Golden Monkey. I have a lot of loose leaf teas as opposed to tea bags because I do prefer um, loose leaf over tea bags. However, loose leaf or it's a little harder to brew and I know that a lot of you guys are not into you know taking your time and you just want to put a tea bag in water and go so if you're interested in loose leaf teas let me know in the comments below because I do have a ton that I want to talk about okay guys anyways guys thank you so much for watching um I hope you guys enjoyed this video kapun garigato kusamasta salamat bye bye chinchia arigato kusamasta